building for Manchester United. Great chance! It's a terrible place to give the ball away. there everybody it's another challenge for these two teams and a challenge for us in the commentary box as always i'm martin tyler alan smith's with me not too much of a challenge i don't think it should be a good game this in our game today west ham united and they play everton with everton alan what have you been thinking about this everton team well they've just got to keep going haven't they in the middle of the pack and uh, nothing to get too excited about but uh, you're playing for pride and uh, i'll be playing for points out here number two winston reed number three alan creswell number 16 mark noble number eight champion coyote number seven sofian fedroni number 30 mikhail antonio well, Goodison Park is still one of our favourite grounds to visit, Alan, isn't it? Because it shakes when Everton do well. Possibly haven't made the ground shake enough in recent times. No, I don't think they have, but uh, those fans, when they get going, they do make a noise. And it's been a privilege to visit Goodison Park over the years. Oh, he's good at cutting those passes out in that middle of the park and the attack coming now from Everton he can put them in front corner for Everton Schneiderlin now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch to take the lead and the goalkeeper plunged to make the save Marking as tightly as they can. This corner could be a problem. They've got to defend it well. <laughs> Put in there by Leighton Baines. And he's met it with his head. And that's an excellent goal. They're in front now. And that's the goal then for Everton, Allen. Well, they've got power, they've got height, and when the corner's that accurate, only one end result. We well, could be in. Lukaku! Terrific stop. That'll be a corner for Everton. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Well, There's good progress with this attack. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. And trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. He's avoided that sliding challenge. And here's a chance! A great work by the keeper. Goalkeeper coming up for a corner. And there's the final whistle. It's a win for Everton. Well, they got there in the end. Mighty, mighty close, but the right result. Yeah, I think that's true, Martin. Yeah, they contributed plenty, scored a few goals and, and just edged it for me.
Well, I think he was the best performer in a good team today. Oh, lots of energy, lots of quality, and a good goal, along with plenty of chances. Burnley today versus Manchester United. We can have a good look at Manchester United. It has been a long, hard season. They've done well to get to this point in a European League place. Just a question of holding their nerve and their form, and they should be there. It's Jesse Lingard. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Pogba. And here's the shot. The shot gets blocked. Stephen Ward challenges for the ball. To put them in front. Well, they've broken through here with a really good goal. And the celebrations reflect that. The supporters are going crazy. It's a terrific moment for the team. So a real captain's contribution here with a fine goal. Was a good goal, and it came at a, a crucial time, I think, for his side. Your captain's input there. Barton. And Manchester United have it with Michael Carrick. A timely challenge. There goes the cross. Goes for it with a fist. Pogba! And shoots! And Pogba has put away the chance, getting forward from his midfield base to make the most of this opportunity. You've got to admire the way he placed the ball into the bottom corner of the net. But the goalkeeper was in a decent position, but he was helpless to uh, stop that one going in. Ben Me. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. And this could be a really good move from Burnley. There's the ball in, and it's a headed effort at goal. Oh, well done, the goalkeeper, and he's hung on to the ball. Michael Carrick. Now Lingard. And Herrera! And it's in, off the bar. And the goal looks spectacular and is very important. Yeah, there was some power behind that effort. I think the crossbar's still shaking. And the pass not completed, really. It's Carrick. Attack building for Manchester United. Great chance! Oh, so close. Hits, hit the crossbar. Stephen Ward. Look how quick he reacted. Pogba. Manchester United. On the move here. And it could be for the shot's on. How oh, well saved. He's spotting it up now to take the corner. Coming off the pitch, number 13, Jeff Park. Coming onto the pitch, number 18, Ashley Westbrook. Spotted that well and intercepted. On the attack here. They've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here. 
Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. He's got his shot off now. It's a fine strike, but not quite what he was hoping for. But when he's hit it, I'm sure he would have thought that was going to bulge in the back of the net. Not quite, though. now for the pass trying to thread it through here and now the shot and it's Rooney well if it wasn't wrapped up before Alan it certainly is now yeah no mercy from this side I'm thinking about goal difference I think now Let's see the replay now. Westwood. Barnes. Well, there's the final whistle, and it's a win here for Manchester United. They never let up, did they? They kept on going to make this a very big margin of victory. Yeah, and they were ruthless, actually. Quite often, last 10 or 15, you, you ease off, but this team didn't. I think he was the best performer in a good team today. Well, it was a really good finish to win his team the match, and uh, he could have easily scored that other one when it hit the woodwork. came to Liverpool from Inter as an unfulfilled talent really but certainly in his time at Anfield made the, the great without any doubt three in his last three games that's top class for the striker There's some potential in this move well they're building steadily here working away in towards the dangerous Benteke Well, stuck out a foot and cut off the pass. That looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Oh, he could be in. And in the shot, go! The big hitters have hit again. They go in front with their attacking prowess. No one's surprised here. It's just a matter of who's going to score the goals. You know they are going to score, and they've got so many different ways of breaking down the opposition. Well, this is how this team can play sustained attacking football but when they lose it as they've done now it's just a risk that they might get caught out working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal shots on here Well, oh, the pressure of getting his team level maybe got to him because he's made a hash of it i just wonder whether at the end of this match they'll look back on that chance as the one that cost them dearly Card here for that foul. For the ref, the decision, and the decision is yellow. I don't think anybody, least of all the player, can have any complaints about that. Rash, Alan, reckless. When you attempt to slide tackle like that, you've got to time it perfectly, and he didn't. Chan. Divo Corrigi. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Adam Milano. Excellent passing. Great interplay. Going for goal. And they have scored. And they do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match. We'll see. 
A goal that's been put away in prime fashion. Now the keeper, quite rightly, is disgusted with his defenders because they've just not helped him out there. Tried to keep it, but they haven't been able to do that. It was good progress with this attack. And now the shot! Great save by a diving goalkeeper. That will be a corner. Coutinho. Just over. Referee giving himself a bit of time, but there is a sending off issue here. It's a gap that's got to be plugged here, Alan, because the defender's gone. Sent off. Yeah, well, quite often it's uh, attack against defence, and it's actually harder for the team with the extra man to do well. Let's see if that turns out here. Deserved a bit better from it. Yeah, he's one of the best headers of the ball in this league, I think. Here comes a challenge. Wonderful chance. Well, now the team that has lost a man has lost this goal. So often you see the team down to ten men, just man to rear guard action and make things difficult, but they haven't been able to do that here. Well, it's just a footnote to the match, really. It confirms the win. Yeah, I think the goal scorer would be pleased. Another one for, for his tally late on the match here. Well, I want to see this again, this goal. Well, they've widened the margin now. 3-0 they lead. James McCarthy. And that's a win confirmed for Liverpool. Sometimes the team with the handicap can fight harder and come up with a shot result, but that hasn't happened here today. No, I think the uh, team with the full complement used the honours. They moved the ball about, stretched and pulled the opposition into places they didn't want to go. What a brilliant performance from this fella. Well, so often we think of his creative abilities, but a couple of goals here won the match for his team. of the home side here today every time you pick up the paper and see your position down towards the bottom of that table it can be demoralizing can't it but uh, they've got a chance out here to make things better for themselves and maybe start to run towards something better Bournemouth, a small club still a small ground but they've got good financial help now haven't they and of course getting into the premier league it was at the right time where even more money came in as a revenue stream from the television deal yeah and they've added to the squad really shrewdly martin they've uh, had plenty of pace in attack which always helps going for goal and the goalkeeper got across to it and a corner given by the referee and he gives it back to it it's a quick break and it's a shot now he's gone 
fantastic start. Really quick off the blocks here. And they've given themselves a terrific boost for what lies ahead. He took the chance with absolute precision, Alan. Wasn't an easy one either, that Martin, but he made it look so. Baraga. It's a terrible place to give the ball away. Going to try one now. Well, he scored, and it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They've played well to this point, but sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special, and he is feeling that special delight at the moment. It's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. Good through pass. Great chance. And there it is, the goal. And it's a substitute who scored. He's uh, definitely come on to try and do that. And he's made his manager very pleased. That does extend their margin now at an important time. There's a huge golfing class out there, Martin. And that's been shown by the scoreline. I did think that this would be one of the tightest games we've seen, Alan, but it's extraordinary, it's gone the other way. Yeah, it has. It has. I think everybody in the stadium is quite surprised by that because the one side has been knocking the ball about nice and crisply, the other one's been chasing it and looked flat, lethargic. It was good play until they got that challenge in. Spotted that well and intercepted. On to the attack now. Done well, the defender. To... He's got his shot off now. Oh, that's what we've come to see. That's a brilliant goal. They are playing well. Their superiority increased, really, with this goal. Well, you can only see more goals coming their way, the way they played. Negredo trying to find an opening, not panicking. It's looking good this move. Through pass. Cross from Stuart Downing. And in comes the header. That is a terrific header. Unlucky it's just off target. They generated some power on it, and the keeper wasn't getting there. Coming onto the pitch. Number 33. Well, here we are looking at the fans. Who are looking on in unbridled joy. Yeah, and uh, I think you've got to appreciate these matches because they don't come along all too often. And he's up for the header. Charlie Daniels, defender to it first. And here's the shot. The defenders managed to get in the way there. A good try, but a simple save. Strong performance here from the winners. As the final whistle goes, 4-0, their margin of victory. I can't recall seeing such a one-sided match, Alan, for a long time. No, one team turned up, the other one stayed in the dressing room, I think. It was incredible to watch. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. Well, so often we think of his creative abilities, but a couple of goals here and won the match for his team.
Verami. Etienne Capu. Good forward play from them. You can put them in front. Very good stop here. Well, this is a corner, and they've got to defend properly against it. Niang. And Dyer. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. To put them in front. Pick his spot now. Well, it's a goal that's been on the cards. The better team at this stage of the match. And you wonder whether they would make that domination count. Well, they've done with this goal. Thoroughly deserved. They lead. That's top quality, no doubt about it. Well, the keeper, quite rightly, is disgusted with his defenders because they've just not helped him out there. And now the shot! Back off the bar. Etienne Capu. And here's the shot. That's a good save. He got a touch to that. And coming up now, a corner. Not rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. They cope with it well defensively. They've opened them up here. It's a corner for Hull. The noise levels have gone up even more. And the scenario remains the same. The He's got his shot off now. We've got a corner here. That could pose some problems. It's Hull City who've won the day today. It was a wonderful game, and they've won it just well a game that we will remember i think martin for many weeks and months to come some final thoughts on one of the better performers today alan oh lots of energy lots of quality and a good goal along with plenty of chances table could be better could have been a lot worse i guess i think so maybe if you'd have looked at it at the start of the season you'd have tipped them to, to finish in this kind of position but you know they could still make a good fist of it if they have a late flow and get some points on the table peter crouch this is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. And here's the shot. Oh, it's the post. Hit the post. This with a chance to go into the lead now. That's a good block. Gilfi Sigurdsson. Crosses in. And here's the header. Great stop. Stokes corner. Whelan. This with a chance to go into the lead now. Chance taken. Goal. They're in front. In terms of shots, there is a real gap between these two sides, reflected in the recent goal, but in terms of form, you'd have called it even, wouldn't you? Well, you would, and I'd like to see the stats at the end as to how many shots they are going to rack up, because they've been peppering that goal.
two and having a little game of their own here. Came in with a challenge. On the attack here. Allen! A oh, well saved. Well, they've got a corner now and possibly a chance to add to their lead. Here's the cross. Oh, Naltovic! He's got his shot off now. Oh, what a fine goal. They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable, and they're good value for this advantage at the moment. Well, it's a very good goal, and much deserved the way the team are playing. Yeah, the stats don't lie. The number of shots on target, no surprise that they've scored. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. There goes the cross. Well, good through ball. Fair! It's gone in, but maybe it wouldn't have done if it hadn't deflected off the defender. Look at what happened earlier. Could the defender have done anything different, Alan? Well, maybe he's half turned away, and that didn't help. If he'd have closed it down a bit more bravely, it might have been better. That's an easy interception. The pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one. Joe Allen. It's looking, the break is definitely on. Shakiri, terrific stop. Corner for Stoke City. Here's a chance to attack. Jordan Shakiri. This could be a chance. Shots on here. And he's taken the chance beautifully. It's the substitute who's struck here. And he's done it really to help his team so soon after coming into the game. It's another late goal to emphasise the gulf between the two sides today. Yeah, and it's been that type of match. I think everybody out there, the strikers particularly, want to increase the goal tallies. And they've done it. won the scoreline as we restart the game Jack Cork referees called the halt it's over Stoke City have won it the manager will be very proud of this result and the way they achieved it with the blend of decent defending but really high quality attacking yeah I mean it was swashbuckling at times wasn't it the way they poured forward and the opposition just couldn't handle them the home team have lost and that Achilles heel if you like the worst defense has been shown up again. They uh, will try and take the positives from it, and I'm sure the manager will be talking those up afterwards, but it doesn't take away from the fact that they still lost. Terrible place to give the ball away. Try one now. 